I'm just sharing my journey out there with you because I seriously feel like a burden in my heart to get it out there to people that maybe have felt like me where I'm like I cannot find like what works for me to where I'm not super hungry all the time. Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Brittany Johnson. Make sure you give me a follow on Instagram and over on TikTok. Today's video is going to be a realistic day of um counting. Snowboarding with Arlo. <laughs> yeah, we are gonna go sledding with Arlo and Ren, her friends, um, and their we family. Went to our church. Mm -hmm. So we like to go hang out because we hadn't hanged out for a little bit. So yeah. Hey, hang don't mess with the, the bathtub. Yeah. But on a real note, why I'm filming this video is because um, I just switched over to counting calories. Um, I kind of made a little explanation video, but I never uploaded it because I felt like it was just a random ramble and I didn't explain. So maybe later on today, I'll sit down and explain why I'm switching from WW intuit slash intuitive eating to counting calories. Um, but... So if you want to know my explanation, stay tuned for the rest of the video. I'll probably explain it a little bit later there. Um, or I'll insert the clip that I was talking about it beforehand. But anyway, um, I am counting my calories. So for my body type and my activity level and height and all that stuff, my goals, um, I get around 1,700 calories a day. So which seems like a lot. For like a lot, I was surprised um, because... I won't go into detail because I'll explain later. But um, yes, so this is my second week now on calorie counting. And so I'm going to show you guys what I eat today. It's a Saturday, so who knows what we're going to be eating today. The weekends are always rough for me personally. I felt felt like before I was counting calories just because um, we, we cook at home Monday through Friday. Like we never go out to eat. Um, and the weekends we typically go out to eat. So that's just, can you get off the bathtub? She keeps turning on the bathtub. Come on, let's go. We gotta go. Let's go. Go. Yeah, we gotta go. Um, you want me to read your book? Yeah. Okay, give me a second. Um, so the weekends are just kind of like, I have no idea what we're gonna eat and half the time it's Mexican or pizza. So like the worst foods. So <laughs> um, just high calorie foods basically. But um, I figured I would just share with you guys what I'm having. So, so far I've had water today. It is, let's see what time it is. It's 10 30. Um, I just haven't had anything else because it's Saturday. We slept in a little bit longer. And then um, I forgot that I had a collab due today um, with Cricut. So I had to go out there and create a Cricut project and film my whole video for it. And now I need to edit it and submit it so I can post it today. So um, I've totally forgot about the deadline for it. So I had to do that first thing in the morning. So I haven't had been able to do anything uh, food wise, but uh, I'm probably make some coffee or we're actually about to leave um, and I might get some Starbucks. So if I get Starbucks, I'll share with you guys what I get and the calorie set, calorie, everything. So I will be leaving like the calorie um, calories for everything that I'm eating. And it's just gonna be a realistic day in the life of full day of eating what I eat in the day. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do leave a comment down below um, and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe, become part of this fam and let's get this day started. All right guys, so I just grabbed Starbucks and then we also just went through the Taco Bell line. It's time for lunch, but I haven't had coffee either. So. I'm going to grab Starbucks, but I'll show you guys what I'm getting and how many calories it is. Order from Starbucks, it is a Trenta Cold Brew, one pump hazelnut syrup, four pump sugar-free vanilla, one pump white mocha, and a splash of like light cream, um, like half and half. If you want to like screenshot this, you can. Um, but this is 120 calories. This is what I've been getting the last two times that I've been at Starbucks. Um, it's super good. It's not one of those like frilly, like high calorie type of tasting drinks but it's really good to me i really like it definitely hits the spot it's sweet enough for me um and then we just went to taco bell so i got me some lunch so i've never had the i think i've maybe tried them before but i never ordered them for myself so i think i maybe like ate one of john's or like half a bite of his locos tacos um but i just searched on tiktok like low calorie taco bell options because whenever i don't know like what to get and we're in a hurry i kind of just like try to look up stuff on social media and then people you know post those things so this is what i got and i believe it's 530 calories all together for everything um 
I'll put all the information here, but I got two Doritos Locos Tacos right here. They look super good. And then I got a Chipotle chicken melt, um, like taco, which is like, it's so tiny, but it has some like sauce in it. So I think it'll be good. And then for a drink, I got, give me a second. I got a Baja Blast Zero. So all this together, I believe is 530 and then 120 for this, which I'll sip on throughout the whole day. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm having for my breakfast slash lunch. Cinderella's got a bobsled team. How fast do them bad boys go? Varsity only. How fast do those go? That's so funny. Okay. I'm afraid they're not even going to walk up the hill. It's pretty steep. Yeah. You want to go with me, Rain, or you want to go by yourself? That's so funny. They're good. And she's gone. We don't have a street on ours. Hold on to Hayden. All right. Wait, hold on. Your hands on Hayden. Bye. 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 <laughs> Is that fun? Yeah. Look at Zizi. Can you push me? Are you going to push me? Push her. All right. Push me. Woo. Push. Push. Alright guys, it is almost 6 o'clock and I'm eating my dinner right now. Um, as you guys just saw, we went sledding with our friends. What? Yeah, don't sit on it. Um, and they came over afterwards and hung out for a while. So now it's dinner time. They just left and so I'm hungry. And I've got, um, I made taco soup yesterday. So I just got myself a bowl. I'm trying to show you guys without Everly. She's trying to do a flip on me. What are you doing? Um, but I have a taco soup right here. I didn't make it like super, I didn't make it a healthy way. Like it's full beef and everything. Usually I would do like ground turkey or ground chicken, but we didn't have any um, of that. And we, oh, careful. And we bought um, a bunch of like, what is it called? Just, just beef? Ground beef. We bought a bunch of ground beef some, for some, from some people. So we, uh, we have like a freezer out in the garage full of that so I was like let me just use that even though it's higher calorie so this serving um I get a big bowl so I count it as two servings and it's 575 calories for that um so that's what I'm having for dinner so it's delicious wow. it turned out super good if you want the recipe um I can post it right here because it's it was this and I just doubled it um because I like to make a lot so that I can have some for, for throughout the rest of the week so Anytime you make any type of crock pot soup or like on the stove big soup or like instant pot soup, always double it because if you're already putting the work into it of making it, why not double it so you can have more for leftovers? Unless you're not a leftover person. I could eat leftovers all week long. So that's what I'm oh having <laughs> That's what I'm having for dinner. Um, I'll let you guys know if I eat anything else. Hey guys, so I just took a bath with my girls. Um, it's Saturday night, so we just wanted to take a bath before church tomorrow. Um, and I forgot to show you guys what I ate um, for a snack because I'm filming a TikTok along, showing like doing a what I eat in the day TikTok video. So I'm having to like double film my TikTok video and YouTube to like do a YouTube uh, video also. But this is what I just ate. I'm not gonna eat another one, but this is just what I just had. It was the Reese's eggs. Uh, John saw these yesterday at Walmart, so. I had one of these and there's two there you can have two of them for 170 calories um so one of them i believe is like 85 or something like that yeah 85 so um i am just chugging on my water right now and it's 8 10 let me see how many calories i have left today Okay, so I have, I've had 1,300 calories today, and so I still have around 400 left. 
So I need to eat something. Um, this has been my problem now that, oh, I didn't even, let me, let, let's go to, there, my kids are watching um, TV in my bedroom right now and John is in the living room playing video games. So let me actually come in here or somewhere where I can be quiet and chat with y'all about um, why I switched. So let me do this, see if I can be left alone for a second. Um, I'm in my daughter's room right now. Um, okay, so let me do explain why I switched from WW slash intuitive eating to counting calories. So um, give you a little rundown. I did Weight Watchers for um, like a year and a half. Um, I really enjoyed it. I definitely like, I couldn't, I definitely could not stay consistent with it. That's for sure. The only consistent I was, was being in the gym. Um, but you know, I would try to eat really healthy throughout the week. And then it was just like the weekends. It, was, it would be really hard to like stay on track points wise with Weight Watchers. Um, but I felt like I did it consistent enough to where I was like slowly losing weight. So I lost 25 pounds in like the year and a half, which is like a slow weight loss, but that's just what happened with me. And, um, and then the holidays hit like this past Christmas and everything. And I quit tracking and all that stuff. And I quit going to the gym and then January hit. And of course, you know, I was like, all right, I'm ready to get back on track. I still have like 25 more pounds I wanted to lose. Um, cause I actually, so I lost 35 pounds. So I, I was like around 200 and I got down to 165 was like my lowest. And then throughout the couple months of like the holidays and whatnot, um, I had gained 10 pounds back. So I, so I was at 175. Um, and I was starting to like gain a pound a week. It felt like, so I was like 175. And then like some days I would be like 178 and I was like, okay, I cannot be bumping up to the one eighties. Like you don't want to lose all the progress that you've made. Um, so in January, you know, I wanted to get back on track. So, but my, my weight would fluctuate between like 178, 175. So, um, I, um, in January, I decided, cause I was like, I just don't want to have to stick to my husband is playing video games right now. So he might be screaming and that's what you hear. Um, I didn't want to like be tracking a whole ton. Like I just didn't, I didn't want to have to be attached to tracking again. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> um, so I didn't want to be, you know, attached to tracking again. Um, so I was trying to intuitively eat. And so what I was doing is basically eating the same types of meals that I was eating on Weight Watchers. So in January, I wasn't technically like tracking anything, but I was doing intuitive eating, which my intuitive eating was eating basically what I knew what Weight Watchers was good for me or whatever. And then I was in the gym three to four times a week, heavy lifting um, and it mixed with cardio. So at the end of January, I decided to step on the scale and check my progress. Um, because I have a scale that actually shows me my weight number and then it actually shows me my body fat percentage and my muscle. Um, it actually shows me like 12 different things, but those are like the three things I'm like most, you know, looking at. And um, I had gained three pounds. So I was like 175, typically 175, 174. And then after doing all of that, like intuitive eating, getting back on track eating, um, I gained three pounds. And before you come come at me and you're like, well, you were lifting weights. No, my body fat went up and my muscle went down and my weight went up by three, three pounds. So I was like, what in the world? Um, Cause I think I stepped on a scale, I was like 178.6. So almost 179. And I was like, what in the world? Like I, like how did, like for a whole month I have been, I felt like I was eating good, like eating healthy. I was not overeating like crazy. You know, like there would be like one, one day where I, 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 I just like, I can, I connect bad eating with like eating Mexican food because you can't track Mexican food because it's never in like an app, like my fitness pal or WW, like there's nothing like at my place. It's not like a Qdoba or Chipotle. I'm talking about like actual Mexican food, you, food, you can't like track it. And so I just never know how much it is. I know I overeat like, or I feel like I overeat cause I'm loving the chips and salsa and whatnot. And by the way, the circle is from my Apple watch. It's just my self tanner. It, it never stays on where my Apple watch is cause it sweats off immediately. Um, so anyway, I just kind of connect with like the bad food, good food type of thing. And so I was like, I felt like I was eating good and whatnot. And I had some days where I was like 
eating pizza or eating Mexican food and like I just automatically think I've just like ruined my diet if I eat that food basically I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying but um so I was just like what the heck and I I asked my because so I and she's not like my personal trainer but I go to a gym and she's kind of like my trainer I don't train with her like weight like lifting weights or whatnot um but she's like my go-to person where I ask her questions and stuff like if I'm you know needing help with anything and I asked her, I was like, how did this happen? And I explained to her everything. And she was like, um, have you, she was like, track what you normally, like you're, she was like, you're probably not eating enough food. And I was like, well, I, I ran through like what I ate the day before. And I was like, I feel like I was around like 1500, I thought, but it, it was like an estimation. Like, I'm not really sure. I couldn't really remember everything I ate. Um, or like if I was tracking it correctly, but I was like, well, let me just track what I've ate today because I can actually, I remember what I ate, and I had already ate dinner and everything, like, I was ready to be done for the day, and I only had 850 calories for the day, and I felt like I was good, like, I felt like I was eating good that day, like, I was eating healthy, and I was like, what the heck, like, and I, I was eating like that for the whole month of January, besides, like, a couple days where I would eat, like, out to eat or something, and I was like, what in the world, I'm, like, super under eating, and I was like, I hadn't tracked ch calories at all during, during during Weight Watchers, so I'm like, this makes sense why I was, like, almost always hungry on Weight Watchers. Like, I would have good days for sure, don't get me wrong, but there was definitely days where I was just like, why am I so hungry? Like, I wish I wasn't hungry all the time, and it's just because I was under eating, I guarantee, and she was like, oh my gosh, no, you need to be eating around 1700 calories. And I was like, okay. So I did a bunch of like online calculators and it also gave me like an average of like 1650 to like 1800. Um, so she was like, yeah, let's just go in the middle average out and you need to be eating like 1700 calories. So like track for the next week and let's just see. And so last week was the first week that I tracked on, on just counting calories and I'm loving it. First off, I feel so much better. Like I feel like I'm actually feeding my body properly. Um, I don't feel like I'm restricting. I, I'm having trouble hitting the 1700, which just shows me a lot in general. Um, because I always just pictured myself as somebody who just ate tons of food all the time. Like I have a bottomless pit stomach if I just like don't care. I've always been like that. I've had issues with binge eating like throughout my whole past. And like I can throw down some food. So I was like, how am I having trouble hitting 1700 calories of food? Like that's just so crazy to me. So this whole past week I was doing that and I stepped on the scale um, after a full week and I lost three pounds and lost like 3.2 or 3.4 pounds and my body fat percentage went down and my muscle went up and I could see a change in this in the mirror like immediately like my body my muscles were getting bigger and my my waist was like slimming down I could see definition in my abs and stuff and I was like eating double the amount of food and I was like how is this real like this does not seem real what the heck so I'm just sharing my journey out there with you because I seriously feel like a burden in my heart to get it out there to people that maybe have felt like me where I'm like I cannot find like what works for me to where I'm not super hungry all the time and you're probably just under eating like you just need to be in a slight calorie deficit and you will see progress. Now it's not going to be progress where you're losing five pounds a week type of thing like slow Weight loss is healthy and sustainable weight loss. You have to get that in your mind. So like right now my goal is to lose like a pound a week and that's it. Like I'm not trying to lose more than two pounds a week at all. Um, and basically around a pound a week. I mean, you know, it might be a half a pound a week. You never know. And I'm not even super focused on the, on the scale. Granted, I do want to be back in the 160s because I knew that I felt better at that. But I know that with building muscle, um... I can't pay attention too close to the scale. I'm assuming it will go down some because I'm still like overweight at my size because I'm 5'3 and um, at my height, I should be around like 140-ish. Um, but that doesn't include muscle and all that stuff. So I'm not like super based, super stuck on that number or whatnot. But I just want to come on here and kind of explain that because like I'm just shocked that I'm like, I feel so full at night. Like, I feel like I'm trying to stuff myself with food so that I can hit my calorie goal and I'm losing weight. Like, it's just, it is mind-blowing to me. So, I've just been doing so much research and 
I'm just excited to see the progress. You know, I'm, I'm nervous for next week to just be like, was this week a fluke? Like, am I going to gain? And like, it was just a great week for me for somehow. Like my body just got shocked. Like, I don't really know, but I'm going to keep updating you guys and doing these like what I get in the day videos, like realistic what I get in the day videos. Um, so yeah, I still need to eat. Um, I'm probably going to make, I think like a protein bowl. That sounds really good. Um, so I'll show you guys what I make for that. Um, I made this delicious one the other day. I've made two now that are like so good. One was ginormous because I still had like 600 calories left to eat in the day, which just my, blows my mind that I still had that many food, much food left to eat in the day. And I was so full already. I'm just like, I was always, not always under eating, I don't think, but I'm just like, man, I must've been under eating so much. And so, um, especially if you're in the gym and you're, you know, working, you're doing strength training and trying to build your muscle, not to be like super buff looking, but to tone your body. Cause that's how you get the toned look. If, if you don't know it, I've, it's so funny because like I have, sorry, my mind is just like everywhere, but like, I have just grown so much from like past years to where I'm at now. And just like my knowledge of fitness and health in general. Um, so like backstory, if you didn't real, if you didn't know, I have probably videos on here, which I probably should make private because th this was when I used to count calories. Cause that's why I was so opposed to counting calories, but just because I was just like, I just don't want to have to go back to that because I was eating 1200 calories and that's enough to feed a toddler, not a grown woman. And, um, <laughs> I was, so it was after I had Hayden and she was already like three or four. Like it wasn't like she was a newborn or anything, but I was just like, okay, I need to lose weight, whatever. And so I got into a calorie deficit and I went just automatically to 1200 because I felt like that's what my fitness pal will automatically put on you. If you want to lose weight the fastest, it automatically just makes you guys go to 1200. That is not correct. Um, if you want to know how to get into the calorie deficit that you should be in, that's a healthy one. Let me know and I can let you guys know how to do all that. I've made a bunch of TikToks about it too. So definitely check out my TikTok and my Instagram. I do a bunch of little videos on like all that stuff. Um, but I don't want this video to be super long, so I'm not going to go into depth with that. But I was a couple years ago, um, before, right before I got pregnant with, with Everly, basically it was like that year, that January I had, um, I started doing the calorie deficit. So 1200 calories a day, plus going to spin class, like heavy cardio, um, three to four times a week. So that's what my thing was. I lost, um, 25 pounds in like two to three months and, you know, but my body wasn't toned at all. I was flabby looking. Um, like it was just like, it just, it looked like skinny fat, I guess. I mean, I was never like super skinny at that, at that weight, but I definitely had lost weight and, but there was no tone to it. And so, um, last year I got introduced to like lifting weights, not last year because we're in February right now. I just mean like the 2020, um, I got introduced into lifting weights. And so, um, that's really where I learned my love for lifting weights for one. Um, and just how much better it is to lift weights than to just do cardio. Cardio is not going to help you. Like you can lose weight doing cardio but you're not going to lose the you're not going to lose body fat and gain muscle you want to gain muscle because muscle will burn um fat off faster and it's like you want to build muscle so that when you're you know you want to build up your muscle to where when you're losing your body fat that's how you get your body toned because like there's muscle under there built so when you're losing the fat it just becomes like a leaner looking muscle if that makes sense and so but to build muscle, you have to feed your body properly. Like you have to be feeding yourself enough food. So it's just super important to be hitting your calorie deficit goal, um, not to be in an, an insane deficit at all. Um, and you want to be like, we're like focusing on eating a, enough protein also. Like I'm not counting macros by any means, but I do definitely try to hit just, a, I, I just try to make sure I'm having protein like throughout the day and stuff. So um, just because I know that protein is huge for helping to build your muscles. So that's my, that's my little spiel about that. I just wasn't eating enough, um, intuitive eating. I just calorie, 
counting calories is not a diet. It's not a diet. If you're doing it correctly, it's not a diet. And I had this whole past week, I've not felt like I've been on a diet. I've felt like I've been on vacation eating whatever the heck I want. That's what I feel like. Um, oh, obviously you want to choose like healthier options and whatnot, but it's just like you have so many calories to use. It's like, if you want to have cookie, have cookie. Like, it's just crazy how I have so many calories left at the end of the day because like I just haven't snacked or whatever. Like, I don't know. It's just so crazy to me that I have so many calories left. But like I was saying, counting calories is on a diet. It's just a way of tracking to make sure that you're eating enough food. So like, like me, I was trying to intuitively eat and I can't do that because at this, at this point in life, I can't do that if I want to hit my goals because I was clearly not eating enough to gain the muscle that I was working so hard in the gym to build. So, um, yeah, I was just, I was just shocked. So I'm just excited to share you guys, share with you guys this journey and, um, just keep updating you guys on all of it. I'm not, you know, trying to lose a, a ton of weight super fast. Like even if it takes me another year to lose this last 25 pounds like that's another 25 pounds so that's exciting so all right guys i'm gonna make a little yogurt parfait it is so good at nighttime and literally eating it makes me feel so full and my favorite thing is to go to bed feeling so full and not feeling like i'm hungry give me a second so for the sake of the give me a second for the sake of the video, I already like weighed everything out so that I could like film me weighing it so you guys can know what I kind of do. Oh baby, let me hold you. Are you gonna say hi? Say hi. All right, so first things you need, um, I kind of changed it up just a tiny bit each time I made it. Like the first time I made it, I made a smaller one. Um, yeah. And then the second time, I made a huge one because I had so much left and I added like a few more ingredients. And so this one um, is basically the same as the first one, except I'm adding chocolate chips to it. So this is first what you need is the Oikos Triple Zero Blended Greek Yogurt and the flavor vanilla. This is super high protein also. So this is this whole thing. I'll share with you guys the macros and the and the calories and everything after I make it. Um, but it's super high protein. So it's just a great meal. Um, I had this like three times last week. It was so good. You eat my yogurt? Um, but this one, uh, I'm going to actually put two of these. I wasn't sure if how much I was going to eat of this. So I bought these in the little like four pack. And now next time I'm going to buy this, I'm just going to buy the huge tub of it because I know that I'm going to use them. What, baby? On my spoon. So, first thing you need to do is get two of these, or you can, which, this is a hot mess, hold on. Hold on. Okay, so one of these is 100, hold on. Okay, so one of these is 15 grams of protein and 100 calories, zero added sugar, all that, 0% fat. So I need, I'm going to add two of these to this bowl right here, two of these. So let me do that real quick. Um, and I, this scale, I literally needed, I was thinking about buying like a portable, not a portable one. Obviously you can like pour, pour, transport that one with you. But I was like, I need to get one to take to restaurants because measuring in grams is like one of the biggest tips ever. Um, these obviously I just like don't care cause they're already like portioned out. But a lot of things, if you buy it, like for example, a chicken breast or whatever, if you buy like, um, chicken breasts from like Aldi, the red bag chicken breasts, they'll say like they're like four ounces and they're a certain calories. But if you weigh it, they're typically a lot less grams than it says on the bag package. So you're actually like, you can eat more than what it says. So grams is just way better to weigh in instead of like cups and tablespoons and all of that. Like seriously, do not be measuring things in ounces or anything like that. Grams is the way to go to get the most accurate reading and nine times out of ten you'll be able to eat more food than what you think you can eat. So anyway, this is my bowl. Put that in there and then next thing I'm going to add is my fresh fruit. Um, I already weighed this out and cut it out just so I could do this but basically I would just um, make this a zero. I'm going to take that out. And then I would just basically scan in my fitness pal. That's how I track my calories. I would scan in my fitness pal strawberries. Um, like it, it's 
this container right here, I would scan the barcode and then I would move the measurement to grams and then I would zero this out. I don't know if you guys can see this. I would zero this out, make sure it's at grams and then you guys can see it's zero and then I'm gonna add the strawberries. So just add all the strawberries, try not to get the blueberries on there, but it should be around like 70, 70 calories or 70 grams. So uh, 68, so 68 grams and I forget how many calories that is, but I'll show you the total calories. So then you'll zero it out. You'll scan the blueberries package, get it to grams and then put in how many grams that is. It's going to tell you how many calories that is. So he's playing video games. So, um, but next thing I'm going to add, um, actually I'm going to add this thing first. So these are incredible. You, if you have not tried these before, you need to try these. This is the cinnamon coffee cake fiber one brown or not fiber one brownie. It's a fiber one bar. They're 70 calories and they are so good. So I always ate the brownie ones, but these are fire. So looks like this and I just crim crinkle it up on top. And I don't measure this at all. I just, I just do that. Hold on. Okay. So I do that um, on my last like pro uh, part phase that I made. I did sugar free syrup on top, but this time I'm just going to do this. What baby? I can't hold you right now. Mommy's trying to do something. You can sit right here. I'll pick you up in just a second. So then I have these Russell Stover sugar free um, chocolate chips. So I'm going to add these in. I already measured them and whatnot. Um, I think I did 10 grams is what I was going to do for like 40 calories or something like that. So zero it out and then I'm going to do um, 10 grams. So that's four grams. Oops. That's eight, nine, 10, 10. Okay. So then there you go. This is the parfait bowl and literally it's so stinking good. Let me bring you guys back up. So here it is. And I'll put the calories and um, the protein and stuff all right here because the my my fitness pal will show you like all the nutrients so like the the proteins the sugars the carbs the fats all that stuff so it's so good guys so if you also if you want to drizzle because it don't it would only be like five or ten more calories so I might even do that but you can drizzle sugar free um, syrup like maple syrup on top of it and it's so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Oh. All right, guys, so I'm going to eat this. This is the last thing I'm going to eat um, today. So I will give you guys my total calories here. I can even give you my total um, like macros too, which I don't count macros, but the MyFitnessPal will track it. So if you guys are interested in knowing my macros, um, super good i'm literally like, so excited to eat this this is like literally a full dessert and this is like 350 calories something like that so i got super close to my calorie goal today so um i'm just learning each day on like you know what things i should eat to bank more calories in the evening time but i typically like don't eat enough throughout the day and then i end up needing to eat a whole bunch at night so i'm just learning as i go um i hope you guys enjoy this video leave any comments or questions down below that you have Give me video request ideas if you guys want to know like my fitness workout routine. Um, I was thinking about filming like my favorite go-to like workout um, plans that I do at the gym. So anyway, this is what I'm eating. Guys, this, this looks so good. Let's make a little um, a little thumbnail with this because it's so cute. I love. Okay. Anyway, hope you guys have a great night. Have a good week whatever day you're watching this and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.